Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Compliance Corner for May 7th, 2020. It is a pleasure to have you here. My name is Bill Allison. Pleasure to be with you. And with me, as always, on Compliance Corner is my designated broker, my good friend, somebody I look up to, Mr. John Hansen. Now, John, I'm a little bit disturbed this morning only because I'm seeing a KC hat and a Seattle shirt. So I think you need to address that first. Well, before we got Seahawks and I was growing up here in the Seattle area, I was a Kansas City Chief fan. And after all the many years going from 1968 all the way to now, we didn't have a Super Bowl win until now. So now we're Super Bowl champions. There you go. Okay. Well, we'll give you that one today. So we'll give that to you. So, hey, John, we had, we did have some uh, uh, questions um, about, you know, agents using their private offices at the offices and wondering if you're able to address that issue today. Yeah, I, I would love to do that. And, and, and first, though, I would like to take a little detour and I would just like to make a clarification about Monday's uh, meeting in which I was asked a question. And the question that I was asked that I was kind of uh, mealy mouthed about, really, there, there's no reason to even pause. The question was, can we have a listing presentation done in the seller's house with them? And the answer to that is no. Not for, for sure, not during phase one, probably not during phase two or three. This is something that they want us to avoid is any contact with the public. And the only time they allow us into a home is for showings following those really strict protocols, right? And so um, to go in and do a listing presentation or do any sort of promotion, no, absolutely okay. not. Okay. I'm going to make a clarification of that. So now to, to get to the question you asked, yes, <laughs> which is about the um, which is about the office use with uh, the private office use within our offices. So we have three offices: the one in Bury and the one in Kent, and the one in Federal Way. And so in Federal Way, it's really uh, it's really um, easy for agents to go through the the big public entrance and go, you know, enter in, go to the bottom of the stairs and go up to your private office, go in, close the door, um, and, and you're fine. Because the rationale behind this decision that, uh, that our OPs, Dennis Ranch and Pam Ranch, uh, have made is that, um, that the phase one rollout is that for us, as, for anyone who's got a real estate business, you're allowed to have back office uh, workers or financial, those who are essential for having that business move forward. And so, so when we have independent contractors, those independent contractors are their own real estate business. So, uh, so they certainly have a right under this phase one to go into their, off, their private office, but only one at a time. So within those private offices, if only one is in there at a time, never the public, that's not even going to be till phase, uh, phase three, probably. Um, public cannot go into any of our three offices at all. So you want to make sure if you're, if you're doing something for a client, uh, they've got to wait out in their car or wait outside the door while you go in and take care of the photocopies or whatever you've got to do um, uh, within your business. But in terms of office, private office use, um, yes, you can use your private offices now because that is your business, but you can only have one person in there at a time. The door must be closed while you're in there. Um, you've got to use you know, protocols of six feet distance with anyone who's in the office, anyone else who's in the office. No handshakes, no hugs. Um, you want to wipe down anything you've touched. Um, um, in the offices, we're providing uh, the Clorox uh, wipes. We're providing the, the hand sanitizers. Um, please utilize them. Uh, make sure if you're using the copiers, uh, you're, you're wiping those down because other fingers are going to touch those. And, and so uh, we want to make sure we're keeping that um, done right. But the big thing is the public cannot, is not allowed to go into a, office like ours. We're not allowed to let the public in. 
Okay, so public's still not allowed in. We are allowed to go in one at a time into our private offices. So um, we are we still able to go in and check our mail slots, do those things that, that we need to do? Yes, yes, and we've, okay. we, we always, we've always had that open to, to everybody to, to be able to go in and do, but of course you wanna just go in and do that and go, okay? So it's not, what's not fair, I don't believe, is to, is to have our financial personnel like, like, like Gwen or, or uh, Emily or Eva to be sitting there, sitting ducks waiting for you to bring a virus to them you know, that you may not even know you've got. And so we want to we want to limit that contact, you know, to, to zero with with those staff who are there. Um, you know, stay stay a good distance away. If you've got to talk to them, please make a phone call. Um, you don't you don't need to go see them in person. Don't don't bring a virus infected contract into them to ha to hand to them things like that. We we want to keep uh, we want to keep safe during this time. Keep everyone safe during this time. And I think that that's really an important step is to make sure those those necessary essential staff who are there are not going to get um, infected and bring those infections back to their family. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you, thank you for that. Just that understanding, that clarification, even for the question that uh, that we had on Monday about the listing presentations. Really appreciate that. We'll keep working on you on the Kansas City hat, um, you know, for for those true Seahawk fans. But anyways. Okay. I know you as a good guy, so yeah. That's my Seahawk fan next time. My there you go. My Seahawk. You got it. All right. Hey, John, have a great day. And for all of you out there, thank you very much for checking in for Compliance Corner. Again, if you ever have any questions about, you know, how you do contracts or forms and anything that, like that, make sure you're checking out John's, uh, you know, Mastery Forms class that we have on here. John, you're doing those on Wednesdays, correct? Wednesdays, Wednesdays from 2 to 4. And we should have on KW Connect, you should be able to go to some recorded classes that I've done in the past, I, I believe. Perfect. There you go, guys. Hey, John, thank you again. All of you out there, have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. We're going to see you on the other side of this. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.